It's the new year that has us already thinking about the tax man. And when it comes to your taxes, there are some questions that pop up a lot. So this afternoon we have Charlie Hyde. He's one of our frequent flyers here on the four o'clock show, a tax principal with us to get us prepared ahead of time. Charlie, great to see you again great as seeing always. You. And every time a year has different questions that kind of come up where Let's go back to the pandemic. Uh, okay. Two things happened. The some of the law, tax law changed. Yep. Different things. Different things you were allowed to to claim. And then also the IRS was a mess during that period of time, as a lot of federal agencies were. People working from home. I know Social Security Administration had problems. Everyone had issues. Where are we now with both the law as what mm -hmm. affects affecting us, and also the IRS and how they operate? Yeah. So the from the uh, pandemic. The law has really settled down. Um, you still see employment retention credit filings going on, and that's a big issue. But it is also creating a lot of headaches for the IRS because you have a lot of fraudulent claims being filed. So they've put a kind of hold on processing all new claims through December until they could get a handle on what are legitimate and what are fraudulent. As far as IRS numbers, their employees have increased, but like in any business when you hire, it is going to take time for those people to get up to speed to be able to be fully productive. Uh, how soon can people start filing their taxes? Uh, I guess if you have, you can do your W-2 online, you can take care of it pretty quickly, but a lot mm -hmm. of stuff has to happen. Yeah, so the IRS has not announced yet for this filing season when they will start to accept e-filed returns. However, you can pretty much plan on late January is when they'll open it up for e-file for this tax season. Uh, April 15th still, or how does the calendar look for 2024? April 15th, that is the one date that never changes in our lives, but what does change is if the 15th falls on a, a holiday or a weekend, yeah. it pushes it back. This year, bad news is April 15th is on a Monday, so that's when our taxes are due. Oh, good to know. All right, now, as far as uh, tax brackets, uh, inflation has affected a lot mm -hmm. of things. Uh, Social Security benefits have gone up a little bit because of inflation. Yep. Uh, how has that affected the tax bracket? So the tax brackets have expanded. So the good news is if you're in similar income level as 2022, there's a good chance you'll be in a lower tax bracket this year because the 7%, they've increased by 7%, so the income it's a higher amount to get to that higher bracket. So, so you, if your salary remained the same, chances are your tax bracket's lower correct. and you, you, get, you have to pay less taxes. You got it. And that's the same thing for standard deductions. They increased by 7%. So this year, somebody married filing joint is 27700 for their standard deduction and for single, 13850 yeah, the standard is so good now. I mean, you have to really donate a lot of charities and things like that to surpass that. Yeah. They're getting, they're getting pretty, pretty easy with that. The majority of, of U.S. taxpayers are claiming the standard deduction. So itemized deductions, how has that changed for 2023? Really, it hasn't changed. The law is still the same. The, the itemized deductions that you will see today, if you are itemizing, would be medical expenses for older individuals, You'll see charitable donations, state and local tax, which is going to be capped at $10,000, and then mortgage interest. Those are the categories. It has gotten, I know e-filing has been a big thing, helping a lot of people save some money and do it themselves. Yep. But a, a lot of the people, I personally just feel more comfortable having a tax professional because that kind of stress I don't need in my life. So I like to hand it off to someone. And, and I would highly recommend that people do that. I mean, tax software has gotten very user-friendly, TurboTax and others, H&R Block. But I would say that going to a tax professional, especially with how complicated the law has become, yeah. it just is going to give you a peace of mind. Charlie, good to see you again. Great seeing Bring you. Bring you back a few more weeks as we get into 2024. We'll be right back.